Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Edgar again, the Looper Man, the VLF Fool. Basically a man who's obsessed with VLF natural radio reception. This is my outdoor portable setup. This whole setup doesn't weigh probably any more than a pound or two. Uh, what we have is we have the box. It's a little cutie PC. It's essentially a one transistor preamp that uses an NTE199. It's a low noise NPN silicon transistor. This one uses a modified Radio Shack 273-1380 transformer and uh, I modified it as such. First, I disassembled it, cut all the primary and secondary windings off of the transformer. Then I wound about 20 turns of number 26 magnet wire on the on the inside toward the core. And then I had a old 48 volt relay coil with probably 40 gauge wire or maybe even a Japanese size smaller than 40 gauge. I was able to easily wind 800 turns. So, uh, let's see, I ended up with 20 turns to 800, so I ended up with a 1 to 40 uh, step up ratio and uh, about 5 or 6 turns of number 14 wire in this coil, which is approximately 8 by about 13 or 14 with rounded corners is all it takes to receive what we're hearing right now. Uh, I seem to be getting a lot of level indication on the recorder for the small amount of volume that I have, so what I'm thinking I've got probably some form of out-of-band ultrasonic frequency pickup and I wouldn't really be surprised because I'm using a flat screen monitor right above to to monitor my video and I will let the thing will let the monitor take a picture of itself that's what we'll do yeah this VR 22 inch monitor and uh, it's not like a CRT type monitor it doesn't generate as much magnetic interference in the audio spectrum but I'm not sure what it's going to do in the above audio spectrum and I'm certainly not sure how it'll affect the Olympus voice recorder or the one transistor preamp in the little cutie PC and of course I have the variable loop load on on this one on this one it turns out to be a 5k pot on the secondary of the transformer transformer takes Oh, maybe under an ohm of input impedance and raises it up to a, a K or a couple K. So the 5K volume pop made a good adjustable loop load for this one. And uh, not much to this one. Eventually I'll update the website and have a list of all the mods for the original little cutie receiver board. And I also have some detailed instructions on not only how to how to modify a transformer for this PC model, but the, the newest circuit I've got for it. I've got quite a bit of RF bypassing inside of it because I recently started using 25 foot uh, 3.5 millimeter to 3.5 millimeter audio cables to reach from the kitchen table where I was doing the demos before to the computer back here. I was having a lot of AM radio station type of RF pickups, so I did add some capacitors to the original to the original circuit and now I have a pretty high level of RF immunity so I'll be showing those updates and the updates for the for the uh, original little cutie or green VLF circuit I'll be showing those pretty soon uh, that's pretty much it for the portable system this system has a decent amount of gain and a low amount of noise so I'm thinking outdoors it should work pretty well and like with the scout version I have the option to use a dual banana plug or even a, maybe make an adapter with uh, push button speaker terminals and a dual banana plug and I do have the option of, of uh, building a single turn a large loop outdoors on this working pretty encouragingly well considering its whole package weighs about two pounds and the Olympus recorder will record many hours of, of data out in the field so this this is pretty exciting I'm kinda eager to get out in the park with this one too so uh, that's pretty much it for the for the uh, little cutie PC version and for the field setup. I'm going to do one more video after this one. I'm going to do a box demo. Uh, so uh, thanks for watching guys and girls and uh, God bless y'all and uh, we'll see you around next time.